What is going on guys and welcome back to the freaking channel. As you guys can see, I always got the staying behind me. What the heck am I doing? Obviously I live in Minnesota. It's currently February 19th and it is like five below. And the staying's out, guys. However, guys, this is something that had to be done. If you guys watched my last video, you would know I'm going on a road trip in the beginning of April. I don't have much time and I need to get off this clutch. So today, that's just what we were doing. Today, the day has finally came, guys. We are gonna be installing my new McLeod RXT twin disc clutch. And I could not be more excited. It's currently like 9.30 right now. I'm actually bringing the car out to the shop where I'm gonna be doing the install. For now, I just got the detailing stuff with me and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bring the car out there. We're gonna drive it out there. It's like, I don't know, like 10 miles from my house. We're gonna drive it out there. Without further ado, guys, let's get right into it. Let me just say, driving this car in this climate, in this weather, in these conditions, of course, we just got a little bit of snow. Man, it is not fun. It is actually extremely hard to drive. It's very sketchy. And literally, I was leaving last night out of the driveway where I keep the car at. And I was literally, I literally could not move. I was just spinning. I had to make a quick stop at the parts store. I had to get some Loctite and some penetrating oil for like exhaust bolts and stuff. I'm not trying to fight anything. But yeah, guys, we're on our way now. I'll pick it up when we get there. I'll kind of show you guys the shop. We're just going to be going down the lift, and I'm also going to be detailing the car. I'll catch you all in a few. All right, guys, so we are here now. This is Darren's shop. Uh, we got the staying here. There's a lift right over there. That's where we're going to have the car up in the air. But yeah, man, she is filthy. I'm not even going to get close to show you guys. I hope you guys can't pick that up. <laughs> but yeah. So first things first, we got our light and steel flywheel from McLeod Racing. It has me paired up with their McLeod RXT. It is rated for 1,000 horsepower. I'm extremely stoked for that. I'm not gonna have any issues getting locked out of gears, no high RPM shift problems at all. I'm so excited to be able to feel all of my power, use all of it on the street and not have any issues. I also went with an Exceedy throw up bearing. This is apparently supposed to be the same as OEM, looks the same. Terry from Beefcake set me up with that. So I also went ahead with some uh, ARP flywheel bolts, got some uh, Blue Loctite for the flywheel bolts. I don't want those backing out. She have no issues. Everyone recommended blue. I also have a JPC steel braided clutch line. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys up on the tripod and we're gonna get started detailing my car. So let's get right into it. all the batteries and charge and everything and then we are going to be good to go tonight here actually well, in a few hours we'll be starting so i'll keep you guys posted all right guys we are out here now we are back it's about 4 30 now we got sam with us ls man what's going down sam gang, gang. <laughs> what's going down uh we're just gonna make some ford things go faster some four things go faster i went ahead and jacked the car up and i sprayed the exhaust bolts with some pb blaster so those shouldn't be an issue at all this console is ripped out as well. We just have four bolts in there for the shifter that we have to remove once we drop the trans a little bit, and that will allow it to come out of the car freely. Uh, actually, he, he's, he's converting it to a Turbo 400. No, no I'm not. Or no. are we going glide? No, well, no, we're staying stick. We're, no. It's a man's mission. Man's mission. All right, I mean, I guess you want to keep losing, that's okay. It, it's a man's, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, so, are you okay. If someone has an auto car. Right, we're, we're, no, we're if someone the, has an auto car. Um, Get loud, boys. 
Never mind, that's a breeze. There we go. Come that was a breeze. <laughs> that was a breeze. I'm actually gonna leave that on there a little bit. Breeze. Literally a breeze. It's almost like you've taken those off before. I know. Or they soaked in PB blasters. <laughs> you want to give me a 19? Good question. Oh my god, these weren't even tight, dude. What if I was getting false knock from this, Sam? Like legit, my header bolts weren't even tight. What if this whole thing's just under here rattling? Like, I'm not kidding, they were loose. I didn't even, my tuner said I wouldn't. I'm like, no, nah, my exhaust is good. There we go. You ready? Ready see how loose this is gonna be? That's not even tight. You don't wanna crank them. Set the wrench on them. Yeah, so I barely put any power on that. It just, like, it should be tighter than there you go. There you go. Hold a little bit. Don't punch me. I won't. Got a little bit of water in there. I think it's a PB blaster. Can't it's light either. What? <laughs> what are we you're doing? gonna wash it so much it's gonna turn fucking pink by the time you're 30. My car? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, low key, low key, hear me out. Should I start with open headers real quick? I would. Do what? You would? I would. Why? Then we gotta rehook so much shit back up. No, we don't. I'm Fuck. pulling your starter out right now. Oh, okay, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't oh, just dust. Dust. Yeah, I was gonna say we can just do it when we Fair enough. We will. Well, like I'm saying, just. Oh, just... and if I like it, this shit's getting ripped off and we're going weight reduction. Let's just hack that yeah. up. <laughs> uh, Darren, question do you, have, do you have a paint marker? Yeah. I'm gonna need one to mark drive shaft. Um, don't forget to undo the carrier here. Yeah. Well, I won't drop if we don't. I don't, we don't have to separate this though. No, you just you pull, gotta take the two, the bolts. two mounting bolts Yeah, out. Yeah, cause well, this, is a, this is a bearing. We'll loosen an end and end and then loosen that. It'll come out, we'll have two guys hold it. Yeah. One here, one there, and I'll loosen yeah, that, it'll drop. Sam, what, what do you, why don't you just use this? What size is that? Use what? This. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him what size it is. I don't have a fucking size. I don't know what Ford's torque specs are, but they're. <laughs> With their starters? Too much for a fucking starter for a five <laughs> Maybe I'm not, I'm not for half an hour. <laughs> yeah, Sam, we're talking about a pay decrease here. Fuck right <laughs> off. <laughs> Dude, I don't know I gotta tell you, use the wrench in your arm, I've been off by now. Fixing your shit in the grass. Or... <laughs> These yeah. things are like fucking... This looks like the five-speed glass transmission. That These are made of like fucking paper, dude. They, they are. are. Like, yeah, like, they are. The fact that things live this it. long is, is impressive. It, it is. is. Also, people that have 1,000 horsepower to the wheel, no issues. And there's people that, there are people that have 500 horsepower NA and they break these. It's luck of the draw. And so far, I've been fairly lucky. Very lucky, actually. Knock on wood. You're missing the weakest link of your chain right now. I am. Much. I am. Is that a starter? Is that finally a starter? Well, ain't no fucking crank to start. This ain't the fucking 20s. Two hours later. Yeah. Input this one dollar right there. I will. <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> I'll hold this side and someone's got to hold this side and then I'll drop that. I don't want it to whoop. Feel it's, confident? Darren's got it. It ain't going to be that heavy. I should go to a carbon drive. And I guarantee you it's going to be stuck on this end anyways. Yeah, you're going to have to dry off. Yeah. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah, this side's stuck as you imagined. Grab some pry bars. Okay. One hit. Or my hand. <laughs> it's good for you. All right, who's got her? I got her, me and Paul. You got a boat? You got her all? Rip that fucking boot. Yeah, don't rip that boot. Do we ready to drop this we, thing already? Do you the bell pop these loose? The bell hole spots, these ones we Or do you want to just do it with the tranny jack on? We can pop them loose now. They're, no, it doesn't I would matter. get them loose now. Yeah. That way it's supported. Okay, let's just double check though. We got O2 sensor out. Is this a yeah, now? Do you have your clutch line on and stuff? No, I do not. I'm gonna do that once we drop the trans. Anyways, he was talking shit about LS and one of them saying that you can't do anything unless you start immediately doing a cam and push rods. How how, how accurate is that? And then what else What's did he say? What's the price of a Coyote Long Watch versus a fucking 5 for yard motor? I, I, I don't even make this. 
can't compare it to a yard motor. So you have to compare that's it to what like, you use, like use like use like use like four eight. Hear me out though. Three, six zero. Oh. <laughs> the power you can throw at a coyote without doing pretty much anything. Oh yeah, you couldn't do that with a stuff. Like, it's, it's, fuck no. It's like, that's it, why I it's told a horse of peace. I was like, stop it is. Stock a you want to go up again or what? Oh. No, just these two. Oh. I want to say. I was just wondering. That's Ten millimeter. Ten millimeter deep. Impact. NASCAR. NASCAR. Oh yeah. All right, I just want to double check. <laughs> there should be nothing else holding my trans. Except for the harnesses. Except for the harnesses, the shifter. Oh, and that one shifter bolt, that one shifter bolt. Yep. So we are gonna, I do have to climb back up there, dude. Oh, but the trans has to come down. Trans has to come down. <laughs> Not much. If my motor departs itself, I'm blaming this on you. Just zoom in on some of these. <laughs> Try. <laughs> <laughs> I need that impact. You guys love when you forget to do undo bolts? You got fresh set of thumbs on you? Thumbs, yeah. Most people do. Yeah. Fresh set of Must be a lot of dirt in that one. They're messing your fingerprints is too much. Hey, yeah, lots of dirt in that one. Okay, she so should weasel right. over. Okay, this is out. I just want to go through this one more time. This is out here. Yeah, this is on the trans, which is fine. O2s. <laughs> just get her from the rear bumper. Fuck it. Yeah. So I can move other cars. Don't forget that clutch line is connected, so that's got to come yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Boys, we dropped this trans in like an hour. An hour? A little more. That's not true. You said it's been an hour when I got here. Right? It's about an okay. hour till my bedtime, bro. Okay, two hours. There you go. Got her. Oh, that's fucking light. Must be why the coyotes are faster. Light trans. Weird, Sam. Did you hear that? That's not a stock. This isn't even a stock trans. LKQ is a. Uh, part remanufactured dealer. Probably that one bolt's different because they lost one. Yeah, that's why it hasn't blown up yet. Bro. At least, yeah, I mean, it's got L LKQ tags on it. Yeah, it's a reman. Yeah, they, they reman stuff. Yeah, reman trans. Hence why it hasn't blown up yet. Fucking running on a reman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this bitch up. Two minutes. <laughs> Side of that. But yeah, it's a little blue. It's a little blue. It's no, honestly no, not as bad as I was expecting yeah. it to be, though. That's literally not as bad as I was expecting it to be. Like it's, like I said, it's a little blue. You got a couple of rings in here. It's not that bad, though. Dude, I could probably get a couple more pulls out of this. <laughs> Sam, Connor right. wants nitrous in his BMW. Make her happen. I got a kit later on the home. He's got an extra bottle. <laughs> As you guys can see, we have these eight flywheel hole bolts here, and there's one here, an additional one here. So you thread like two or three of these in to hold it into the crank, and then you'll actually take one of these and you'll screw it into there, and it'll walk the flywheel off. Nope. And now we're loose, so that they ease out. You take them right off. It's a good thing we have it here. Well, it never fails. You always think you get them all, and okay, then there's that. one. <laughs> okay, 
this on now. Now we're waiting on our final plate. Paint to paint. Paint to paint. <laughs> paint to paint, stud, stud. I'll come do it. Looks so much better than it did before. Hey, look at that. Get really familiar with that nitrous on a 5.3, right? Let's spray it. We got a clean 5.3. I know how long you can spray a 150 shot till it lets go. You can go like a couple, like an inch forward, but that's as far as you We might be able to sneak more. Also back also back to the the this sucks now, I can't see it anymore. I know. No one can see that way at all. That's fine. Yes, yeah, that's the same thing. Wow, you're really like, tall. Which way you want me to go, bro? <laughs> which way? You I want me to take him off or let him loose? <laughs> there we go, oh, boys. He's got hair on the dowels now. Come down with that. Uh, <laughs> Everything's going. I gotta get a view of this. It just it twisted up, but you're good enough. Here, ain't light. I'm back here. <laughs> Alright, boys. Paul, Hunter, you want to stand behind the car? Holy! That's my clutch. <laughs> Should probably bleed that. Like it. No, it. <laughs> I can't even pick it up. <laughs> All right guys, it is now the next day. I'm back out here at the shop right now. I kind of got my car, my door closed and whatnot because they're detailing and stuff in the shop and it's kind of loud. Anyways, the clutch install last night went extremely smooth. We were literally in, I would say five, six, maybe seven hours from start to finish. Pulling the trans, getting the clutch in, restabbing the trans. Went very smooth and seriously, I can't thank all of you guys enough that helped. Um, anyways, like I said, it's now the next day. I gotta go ahead and piece my interior back together here, um, button up the shifter and then honestly, we're gonna go and get the first drive with the new clutch. All right, so I need your tire on that thing. What's that? That was a tire on that or what? So on the inside, so obviously you don't see it. So yeah. see this little like lip down here? Yeah. Okay, let's try it with that. Let's try it with that. Just pick that back up, back end up as high as you can. Little, as high as it'll let you. This is the hardest part of the install, right here. Now we can drop a trans, put a trans in, but I can't, <laughs> I can't do a shift move. 
and or shifting <laughs> to save my life. I never thought this thing would ever see snow, but sometimes, sometimes you gotta make exceptions. Look at the heat going on this thing, man, it's cold. As well, here goes uh, nothing. Here goes our first drive on the McLeod RXT twin disc clutch, rated for a thousand horsepower. Um, so far, all I can say, this clutch is super, super light. It is, it is very light. It is, it's almost ridiculous. <laughs> when people say that this clutch is lighter than stock, they're not kidding. It takes no effort to push this clutch pedal to the floor. I gotta get used to the engagement point. It's a little weird, but um, overall, I think we did a good job. I mean, the car moves under its own power. <laughs> this is definitely a crazy experience. Like, I seriously cannot believe still. Like, I remember when we boosted the car in a garage and I was like, this is crazy. Like, I can't believe we did this. And I wish I'd have filmed that, but obviously I wasn't doing YouTube at the time. And I wish I was, but I'm not. I wasn't. But I remember doing that, and I was like, wow, this is so crazy. Like, we just supercharged my car. And now, like, we dropped the trans and put the trans back in. It's all the clutch, everything. It was like seven hours. Like, but if I brought it to a shop, I've been paying a pretty couple grand easy. When you're driving, when you're changing gears, it's not bad. Taking off is the hardest part. Okay. When you're when you change gears, it feels like it feels just like it did before. I am also gonna go ahead and break the clutch in, obviously, guys. Don't worry about that. It sucks that I'm in Minnesota and the roads, the roads today are actually amazing, but it sucks that, you know, I hope we don't get snow and I can do the braking miles on a day like today. A lot of downshifting like I always do and just try to get some city driving knocked out of the way. This clutch feels absolutely amazing. It's extremely light and it works. Speaking of downshifting though, here goes our first downshifts. Trying to keep everything under 3,000 RPM as well. Alright, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a little bit longer video, and if you made it this far, seriously, thank you guys. I cannot wait for this braking period to be over, for me to be able to rip on this car and roll through the gears and oh my god, I'm so excited guys. I hope you enjoyed it and as always guys, I'll catch you in the next one.